Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson 23. And in this lesson, students are gonna be counting on uh, from a, a given coin uh, with pennies. So the idea would be like, hey, if you start with a dime and you add four pennies, what do you have? That kind of an idea. And really, if you think about it, this is kind of a throwback to content that our students learned uh, earlier in the year where students were counting on. I mean, if you think about it, we've recently been doing the standard algorithm for addition. So this is a little bit of that spiraling where students are going back and re viewing, let's say reviewing earlier content. So uh, by actually moving forward in the curriculum, we are able to review old content. So there's no need for teachers to pause in order to review. This is the review. So let's get started. So we've got coins here and it says add pennies to show the written amount. So we start with a dime. So parents and teachers, this is a great time for students to review the what the pictures of the coins look like. What do the coins look like? It also causes the students to remember what's the value. So if a student was to remember that this is indeed a dime, but that student also has to remember that it is worth 10. So it's worth 10 cents. So I'm going to write in a 10 right here just as a reminder and then we're supposed to draw more pennies until we reach 15 so we've got 10 11 12 13 14 15 and so that's the idea for these kinds of uh, problems not really this is nothing new this is not <laughs> unique to common core it's just the classic kinds of problems that we've always had. So what is this? Well, this is a quarter, and what is it worth? Well, it's worth 25 cents. And we need to go up to 28 cents. So that's 26, 27, 28, and that's the idea um, of adding pennies to show the written amount. Now here's a little bit, a little bit of a problem solving kind of a thing in that, uh, we're supposed to look at the coins and write the value. What's really fun is this allows students a variety of ways to get that answer. They don't have to go left to right if they don't want to. Classically, we might say, well, this is a 10, this is a 10, this is a 1, and this is a 1. So classically, we might say, well, that's 20, and then we have two more, so that's 22. Would a first grader be this formal? No way. We a first grader might say 10, 20, 21, 22, something along those lines. But this is a great opportunity for students to start developing problem-solving um, strategies. What could, what's another way you could have counted your coins to also get 22? This is just more of the same. This is now problem B, C, D, and E, and, and the problems get a little bit more difficult in that there's more and more coins and the value is going up and so let's just zoom in and we say, okay, well, what do we have here? Well, that's a nickel plus a bunch of pennies. So we know that if, they didn't ask us to, but if we were to write in the values, that would be a nickel plus a whole bunch of pennies. And how would we do that? Well, we might count five and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So one thing we might do is uh, start with a nickel and then count on. And that's really the, the intent of this lesson. But <laughs> parents and teachers, if your students want to think of other ways to count their pennies, they do not have to be compliant little mathematicians and start with a five and then count on by pennies. If you see a student, if a student says, well, I see a 10 frame plus a nickel, that's automatically 15. 10 plus 5 is 15. Boy, let them do that. Let the kid do that. Um, we do not have to have all of our students solve this problem in the exact same way. 
And I think the rest of these problems are, you get the point. Uh, find the value, allow your students uh, multiple solution methods if they choose. And that wraps up Classic. It's a first grade, module six, lesson 23. We're really practicing the count on strategy. We're starting from a single coin and adding on pennies. And by the way, please consider pressing that subscribe button on my channel.